Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Well, we're continuing the series. This is the 15th part of the series of the knives that I bought in 2019. I started off this series with series one telling you just how I'm stunned at how many knives I bought in one year in 2019 and we're still going through them today these are five small just fantastic knives they're designed great they're, they're actually designed for use as well as good looks and both of these designs because today we're looking at the spider code uh, dodo and the polywog um, I owned the first three uh, dodos that you see from the left, and then I sold all three of them to you guys during a trimming, and I missed them so much. And then I heard that Blade HQ was coming with an exclusive, and I lucked up and found someone who owned, new in the box, never opened, the three... Um, the three dodos. So I bought those 2019 and then again Blade HQ just released their exclusive and that's the last of these four that you see in my hand. And then the Polywog, I added it in here because it's hard to find any other group of knives to add the Polywog and I think it really fits. All of these knives were designed by Eric Glesser. You know, Eric Glesser is the son of Sal Glesser, the founder of Spydeco. And Eric really is a very good knife designer. These are funky, unique knives that he designed. So let's talk about them. We're getting close to finishing up this series. So, Blue G10, I'm not sure if this was a sprint run or one of the regular uh, production versions of the knife. But as you can see, this one is serrated. So obviously they offered both a serrated and a plain edge. Reverse S hogbill blade, kind of, as you can see, right? Kind of like the cricket. This happens to be serrated. This is the only one you'll see that's serrated. But look at this. You have a full forward choil. There's not a lot of steel. So they did, this is probably like 80, 20, 80% 80 of it is in the handle. The handle is a lot bigger than the blade. And that's because... <laughs> They call this the little big knife, one of their little big knives. It fits like a big knife in your hand. You see that? Four fat fingers with a good grab on this, even though it's a small blade. And that's why that handle is like that. It's a very comfortable handle. It looks great, but it's also good for use. I mean, you can really get in there and with that tip, and it's not a super thin tip either. It's a useful tip. Cut boxes or whatever you need, especially when you can pull it back because of that Hawkville blade. VG10 steel, made in the good old US in Colorado. This used a ball bearing lock. Spydeco's ball bearing lock. And what it has is they have this spring on on a spring this ball and right now let's see let's pull it down you pull it down and you can see it sprung up inside of the handle of the blade that gives it it's very strong in there no chance of moving you bring it down and you see the blade so now it's down there, squash down with that spring. And then when the blade finally closes, 
it pops up again in this recess in the blade, which makes it a very tight close. I was so lucky to get brand new in the box versions of all three of them. This is with the blue G10 wire clip. You know, the wire clip is so popular now. It's one of my favorites. Um, but as you see on some of these older knives that the wire clip has been around for a very long time from Spydeco. This is one of those smaller wired clip. Right hand, left hand, tip up only because of the ball bearing lock and everything going on. Just a super, super nice S30V steel. I'm sorry. Yep, S30V steel on all of the Dodos except for the Blade HQ exclusive, and we'll talk about that later. This orange Dodo is a Sprint Run. Sprint Run comes from Spydeco, which means it's a limited variation on an original. And so the variation, this is still S30V steel. And the variation is the color of the G10, the orange G10. Other than that, it's just like the blue. Except, of course, this is a plain edge instead of the serrated edge of the blue Dodo. But isn't that nice? I love the colors. I love the blue. I really love this orange as a sprint run. Remember, it's a limited edition. All of these, of course, have been long discontinued. I was stunned. I mean, literally stunned when Blade HQ came out with a Dodo release. I mean, you know, I'm a huge fan of Spydeco's. I've gone through several years finding all the old Spydeco's. You don't see a lot of the old Spydeco's because we do the knife of the day and the pocket dumps and all of that. But... I have a lot, and I haven't sold off the super old Spydecos that I have. I just love them. Now, this Sprint Run, of course, again, S30V, all of these made in Colorado, in the good old USA. Of course, the obvious on this Sprint Run, again, it was the scales. This is carbon fiber. And instead of a stainless steel ball, you see the... Material for the ball bearing. Everything else is the same, including the clip. Now on Blade HQ, they actually, you know, no one ever writes numbers for sprint runs. <laughs> we know they're limited. It's usually 1,200, give or take a couple of hundred. Uh, on Blade HQ, in the description of this, they have that there were a thousand of them. I don't know if that's true or not. But that's in that sprint run kind of thing. Just hard to find. I'm so happy that I found it. And I love the nice smooth gray carbon fiber with that ivory ball is just that porcelain kind of ball. I doubt if it's porcelain because it's not that strong, but it's just a wonderful ball. So those are, no, no, those aren't the Dodos, because I haven't talked about this. This was the most recent Blade HQ exclusive from Spydeco, and I think it was either SHOT Show or Blade HQ, where, uh, no, SHOT Show or um, Blade Show, where they said that they were going to release this through Blade HQ. It took a while to get there, of course. Sold out in a matter of minutes, like all of the Blade HQ exclusives do. Especially with Spydeco. Especially with the Natural G10 and the CPM M4 Steel that they have. That's the Blade HQ thing. And I think it works for them like crazy. Doing these exclusives to sell out in minutes. I'd love to know what the real numbers on these are. Great steel, of course, CPM M4 steel. You've got you to gotta take care of that steel. It's not a stainless steel. It will rust on you. Oh, 
Look at that G10. Of course, everything else is the same as the others, but that G10 is just natural G10. People call it ivory G10. It has that green tint, see-through too. So you can, when you look close, you can kind of see the workings. See, behind the scenes, the workings that's going on there. Just a real nice. I was kind of hoping they'd have that porcelain bowl <laughs> on this. But that's okay. They upgraded the steel in a big way with uh, CPM Crucible's M4 steel. And of course, these wonderful scales. And just bringing it back. Funky. You know, Spyderco has these two kind of design things, or they used to, and I think they still do. Uh, one is this whole idea, well, they do, this little big knife. And this is definitely one of them. A little blade, but very useful. And in this case, with a big handle that fits nice, and that reverse S with that belly, you know, that belly can do a lot of cutting. That's why it's not just a hawk bill blade. That belly adds a lot of surface that can cut. I just love this knife. And the other part of it, sometimes I'll do a knife like this and people go, that's such an ugly knife. Well, they also have this saying that they design things in the dark. They don't, obviously. But what they're saying is how they look is super secondary to how they function. But this is the Blade HQ, very limited, exclusive Dodo with Spydeco that just released at the end of 2019. And then I wanted to add this to it because I think it fits. Again, another, another knife, little big knife. It's the Spydeco Polywog. It also fits the Dodos because I owned a Polywog too and I sold it to one of you guys. But my Polywog was a G10 version, black G10. Usually I'll grab G10 um, carbon fiber or whatever instead of a stainless steel blade. But I've always wanted this one. With the, with the G10, it didn't have all of the cutouts. See the cutouts on the scale? on the scales that just adds to how funky this looks. It saves on some of the weight too. This is a lot heavier, you know. Um, the Dodo, did I give you the specifics on the Dodo? 2.1 inch blade on the Dodo. 2.1 inch blade. Of course, it has some choil, so it's a 1.7 inch edge well below that three inch mark that some of you have to deal with and it's 6.1 inches total and it only weighs 2.6 ounces only 2.6 ounces now you go to the polywog that is all stainless steel but boy it looks beautiful feels great in the hand and the same with the dodo it just melts in your hand it really does it melts, it gets you ready to do some cutting. Ah, oh. swedges on the top, hollow ground, swedges on the top to take off some of the weight. And it needs to take off some of the weight <laughs> because, <laughs> because while it has just a 2.3 inch blade, and again, it has more of a 50-50 choil, so 1.9 inch edge, the total is 5.6 inches, so it's it's close to the dodo, but it's 4.1 ounces on this little thing. But you know what? That weight makes it feel great. Again, I I used to have the G10 version a lot, and I like this. I like the styling on it. It's beautiful, unique. Again, another Eric Glesser design. And again, it used the ball bearing lock, Spyderco's ball bearing lock. Looks real funky when it's closed, doesn't it? 
with this open space here, but I think it adds to the design and then it just goes and locks up and fits real nice at that point. Isn't that nice? course discontinued years and years ago what do you think spydeco i mean blade hq and spydeco you want to try one of these <laughs> this is the polywog so that's it that is number where are we 15 number 15 in this mini series where i'm counting down all the knives that i purchased in 2019 and as you can see even with this one uh, a lot of the knives are some of the knives you know in 2018 I started trimming my collection and sold a lot of knives on this channel only to this channel and I did it several times I don't know four or five times 2019 was where I was missing a lot of those knives that I sold and I bought a lot of them back. You'll see even more of them as we go forward uh, in the latter part of this mini-series. But there you have it. The Spydeco Dodo Knives and Polywog that was purchased in 2019. If you enjoy this series, don't forget to thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, it takes two seconds. It just helps me out. Turn on your notifications because... I do trim my collection from time to time, which means I give you good prices on some great knives. Okay? And take good care of yourselves. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.